Renowned civil rights attorney Ben Crump announced today that he will be representing a Baltimore family in what could be an unprecedented lawsuit. His clients are descendants of Henrietta Lacks. Her cells, of course, were taken without her permission decades ago, and they are still being used for medical research today. Family members say they have not gotten compensation, and Ava Joy Burnett has more from those family members and attorneys who say more than 100 companies could be named in this lawsuit. One of the attorneys told me that there's scores of pharmaceutical companies that continue to use Henrietta Lacks' cells without her permission. One of her family members told us today those companies are now on notice. Civil rights attorney Ben Crump stood with Henrietta Lacks' family today and announced his team will be suing pharmaceutical companies who continue to use her cells without her permission. Her family is here today to start the journey to right that wrong. In the mid-1900s, Henrietta Lacks went to Johns Hopkins to get treatment for cervical cancer. Johns Hopkins itself documented what happened next. When her cancer cells were sent to a nearby tissue lab for a biopsy, the doctor realized that instead of dying, her cells doubled every 20 to 24 hours. They were nicknamed the HeLa cells. They played a crucial role in medical advancements. But doctors never asked Lacks or her family for permission to use the cells. And the Lacks family has not received anything from the theft of mm. her cells. The cells are still being used today for medical research like developing vaccines. Johns Hopkins has said it celebrates and honors the incredible contribution the HeLa cells have made to medical research. The institution also said it did not sell or profit from the discovery or distribution of HeLa cells. Attorney Chris Seeger said the team is not ruling out contacting Johns Hopkins and about 100 other pharmaceutical companies could be potential targets. We're doing our research and figuring out every pharmaceutical company Company that has made a product that has either used these cells to build their product or commercialize it in some way. We asked the attorneys if there could be some potential statute of limitation issues. They told us many pharmaceutical companies continue to use the cells today, and each time they do that, the clock restarts. Average Burnett for WJZ.